going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. You recognize the brown jacket, right? You guys remember this? It's back because it is cold. So what are we doing today? Well, got a few things to get done today. Number one, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. For me, it's Copart walk around day, and I've decided we haven't had this old beauty out in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up, let the engine get up to operating temperature. And I'm going to take this to do my Copart videos today. Come on, Betsy. Come on, girl. You can do it. Don't forget, tap the gas gauge. There we go. Now she'll just sit here and run for a while. Let her warm up. What else we got? Uh, looks like I'm going to have to move that truck out of the way. Oh, boy. We got a lot of cars out here, guys. Good morning, old girl. Oh, you know what? It's not going to start because it's out of gas. Sorry, diesel. It's out of diesel. I need to get this thing cleaned up. It's filthy. It's filthy with almost 10,000 miles on the odometer. I did push, push brake. I did. There you go. How low on fuel? Oh, she's real low. She is real. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're low on fuel. 10,000 miles. Still not due for an oil change yet. Crazy. We'll let that warm up for a minute. And then we got all these cars out here, guys. I told you, these are all going to auction except for, uh, except for one. So, I guess we'll start with, we'll start with the police car. I got to move this out of the way, too. Let's see. That's, uh, that's this one, I think. The Gitter Dunn car. 97 Crown Vic Police Interceptor. Guys, she's going down the road. I decided to jump on the sell everything bandwagon that all these other YouTubers are doing. Is this the wrong key? This may be the wrong key. Hold on, guys. Yeah, that's the wrong key. Maybe this is for the Lincoln. Hell, I got so many keys, I can't remember what they all go to. Maybe this... Maybe this goes to this car? Let's find out. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, really? You gonna act up on me this morning too? Ooh. Oh, interesting. There you go. Damn, girl. Don't be acting like that. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. These cars, they don't want to go back to the auction because they think they're going to get abandoned again. So they start acting up right, <laughs> right before auction day. I'm telling you. <laughs> These cars, man, uh, they really do. They all love to start acting up right before you send them off to auction. It's like, please don't. Please don't. I got to move this out of the way. I think the Lincoln is fine. Actually, we might be able to squeeze. We might be able to squeeze this in maybe right here can i fit i got it i got it <laughs> there we go there we go i just needed somewhere to park this one oh all right in fact let me uh let me roll this window down here this window's uh this is one of those that you gotta you gotta kind of rock it a little bit but uh, important windows work on all of these guys. Next, how about the stinking Lincoln? Haven't fired this one up in a while. Let's go ahead and get her started. Oh, this car is so comfortable. Ah, this one is so damn comfortable, guys. 138,000 miles on the odometer on this one. Important window works, of course. All right, next, the Blazer and then the Monte Carlo. Let's see, this will be the Blazer, this will be the Monte. Let's see if any of these other ones want to act a fool on me. I just cleaned up the Blazer. Let's try not to, very gentle, very gentle. I just cleaned up the Blazer yesterday, and I drove this one 100 and 
I think I drove this 140, 130, yeah, 130 miles yesterday, guys. 130 miles, no issue. Look at that. No warning lights, nothing. Cold air conditioning, and the best part about this one is the important window is not going to break. Old school, man. Old school. All right. Next, the Monte Carlo LS. Hey there, old girl. Looks like that rear view mirror fell off again. Oh, having a hell of a time keeping that rear view mirror on. Now, remember on the Monte Carlo, guys, and I've had a lot of you say you want to bid on these cars. The Monte Carlo, the key, one direction, doesn't want to turn, but you flip the key over the other direction, does just fine. Watch. See? Doesn't want to turn. Now, watch this. Take it out. Flip the key over every time. Bingo. Bingo. Fires right up. No issue. No warning lights. Cold air conditioning. And yes, the important window works. <laughs> I really do love this car. I really do. I really, really enjoy this car. All right, moving on. We have an Audi and a Volvo. Let me grab the keys. The reason I'm firing all these up, number one, is to make sure there's no issues. I, I really, I'm, I'm kind of anal about it. Uh, I do not want any last minute surprises. I don't want to send a car to auction and find out last minute something went wrong. So I am kind of anal about coming out here and making sure uh, that these things are all acting the way they're supposed to act before they go off to auction, guys. Um, I really, I really care about people's uh, people's money, and I don't want to sell something to somebody that they're going to get and end up with a lot of problems out of. So, one last check because I have insurance auto auctions coming out here today to pick up five cars. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and I got something to show you guys. The brake pedal. take a look there's no brake lights on look at that yes I fixed it I fixed the brake lights and last but not least oh you're getting you're getting leaves all over you girl oh that car is loud as hell jeez last but not least the old Volvo XC70 There she is. Listen to how much quieter. <laughs> Volvo, I got to give it to you, man. <laughs> you guys make some amazing cars. Not only are these cars good quality cars, but listen to the difference when I open the door. L listen to this. I mean, who could argue with that? All right, all the cars are running. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I got a reserve on them. And I'm gonna tell you what they are. Oh, you know what, oops. And yes, important window works and cold air conditioning in the Volvo. Okay, let's just run down the list one at a time, starting with the Volvo. So this is a 2004 Volvo XC70. This is all wheel drive with a 2.5 liter cold air, hot heat, important window works, good tires, runs and drives very, very well. Reserve on this car, 500 bucks. That's it, 500 bucks, less than I paid for it. The Audi A6 Avant, not for sale, not yet. We gotta fix that exhaust, right? Next, the 2004 Chevy Monte Carlo LS. This one I got a little money into, guys. I overpaid on this one, I think. I don't know, maybe not. I paid $1,600 for this winning bid, and out the door it came out to about $2,000. Yeah. I want to tell you right now, the reserve on this was $1,500. $1,500. That's it. You cross $1,500, and this car is yours. How about the 05 Chevrolet Blazer? This one turned out to be a steal of a deal, man. I mean, this is probably one of my favorites. One of my favorites in a long time. Uh, it's got like brand new tires all the way around, cold air conditioning. By the way, the Monte Carlo's got practically new tires. I, I have been scoring huge lately, guys. I really have. 
Uh, this one's got cold air, hot heat. Um, it cleaned up really nicely. We've been underneath it. It's not leaking anything. And I got this for like $650. Yeah, so what's the reserve on this one? The reserve on this one is 500 bucks. 500 bucks. I mean, guys, <laughs> you want to talk about shooting myself in the foot here. If I was selling these cars at like retail, oh my goodness, I'd be making a killing. I'd be making a killing on these. Um, you cannot buy cars in today's market that run and drive at the prices I'm selling for. You can't. I, I, I dare you to find them. I really do. I dare you to go out there and find a better deal. Next, 97 Crown Vic Police Interceptor. This is a P71. Runs and drives. Power windows work. Heat and air works. Good tires all the way around. Yeah. 100. This is low miles, too. This is like 140, 140... 3,000 miles on the clock, guys. Yep, 143,000 miles on the clock. Port and window works, cold air conditioning, yada, 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 and good tires all the way around. What's the reserve on this one? 500 bucks. I think I did a buy it now of 750, so I probably paid 1,000 to 1,100 out the door for this. Yeah, bottom dollar reserve is $500. Seriously, five dollars $500. 94 Lincoln Town Car. We just picked it up as a non-runner from Insurance Auto Auctions for like, I think it was $475 was the winning bid. Probably came out to about $750 out the door would be my guess. It's got a very nice set of Bridgestone tires all the way around with good tread. Clear coat peel. Yeah, you know, that sucks, but it is what it is. Air ride works. AC is not working. Power windows work, heat works, low miles, 138,000 miles on the clock, guys. Does have an airbag flashing code 13, short to ground, you know, whatever that is. Yes, the radio works, the trunk, uh, the soft closed trunk and everything works. Dashboard is in excellent condition. She's a beauty, guys. She's a beauty. And the seats are insanely comfortable. Uh, this one's great. This, they all are. That's, <laughs> I know it sounds like a used car salesman at a car lot, right? But I think the difference is I take you guys on the trip with me. You know, this isn't just, uh, this isn't just me showing you cars going, Hey, these are great cars. You guys have been with me for the whole, for the whole thing from start to finish from buying them, driving them, bringing them home. You've been with me the whole way. So here they are. They're all going up for sale. Uh, as soon as you see this video, as soon as you see this video, every single one of these are going to be ready for sale. 94 Lincoln Town Car, 97 Crown Vic, 05 Blazer, 04 Monte Carlo. Again, I'm holding on to that one for a minute. 04 Volvo XC70, and don't forget the COK320, that belongs to Monkey Wrench Mike. That one's not mine, so we're not selling that one. There you go, guys. There is my Hoopty Fleet, and any one of them or all of them can be yours if the price is right. So we'll go ahead and start shutting these bad boys off. They're all sitting here running and purring like kittens. Just wanted to make double and triple sure that we weren't going to have any issues before the tow trucks get here um, to haul these things off. We gotta get the exhaust fixed on this Avant man. In fact, I'm gonna schedule an appointment today to get this thing to the exhaust shop. Ugh. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. We'll get we'll get this thing in today. Or not today, but I'll get the appointment today so we can get this bad boy into the exhaust shop. I really wanna I wanna see how it does, you know, like highway speeds and and all of that stuff. Ugh. You're still doing all right, no issues. Of course you are, you're a good car. These are all really good cars, guys. All right, another one down. Next, the Blazer. Oh, I need my, uh, thank you, I don't wanna forget that. I definitely don't wanna forget that. Let's see if the, uh, the window's still gonna work for me here. Yep, still works. <laughs> All right, still no check engine lights, no warnings, nothing. Good old pressure, yeah. All right, another one down. 
couple left. Let's double check the uh, Crown Vic here. Make sure she's not having any issues and not heating up or any of that good stuff. Good oil pressure, good temperature. This one's got a full tank of gas. In fact, I think a few of them have a full tank of gas. Let's go ahead and roll this window up. Like I said, this is one you gotta, you get, you got, there you go. You gotta kinda rock the switch a little bit, but she works. So the uh, Lincoln has about three quarters of a tank. The Crown Vic has a full tank. That car has a full tank. The Monte Carlo, I think, has close to a full tank, and the Volvo has about half a tank, if I remember correctly. So they're all gonna come with plenty of gas. I don't use ethanol, so you get some non-ethanol treatment. Ugh. Roll this window up. Still nothing, no problems. Everything's good, man. Everything's good, all right. That's the last one, guys. Well, I'm gonna miss all of them. I do enjoy them all for different reasons, and I really do love them all for different reasons. They're just old, fun cars, man. And I've told you guys a million times, it doesn't matter if it's an American car or foreign car, I don't care. I don't care. I just enjoy cars, man. I really do. I enjoy these older cars, but uh, I'm letting them go for a reason. Can't tell you what it is yet. I'm sure most of you can guess though. Probably has something to do with out with the old, in with the new. That'd be my guess anyway. If I was a if I was a betting man, that's what I would bet. I would bet that we're getting rid of some old ones because I'm gonna move something else in. God, I don't know what it could be. You guys have probably seen it on video though. I'll tell you that. If that's the case, if that's what's really going on here, then uh I can assure you. Ooh, don't hit the fence. Don't hit the fence. Good, good, good. I can assure you, you've already seen it on video. I love this truck. I do. I really love this truck. But man, I really need to clean it up because she is looking, she is looking rough. All right. Well, guys, I guess that's about it for the video. Like I said earlier, if you see this video down below in the description box, Probably even the comment section, and we'll have a list. It's gonna have direct links to every single one of these cars. So if one of these is something you're interested in, if all of them are something you're interested in. I'm here to tell you guys, I wouldn't hesitate to drive any of them anywhere. I wouldn't. I would not hesitate to jump in any one of these cars and drive any damn where I wanted to go. It wouldn't, it wouldn't worry me in the slightest. These are great old cars, guys. So uh you know, hopefully they do well at auction because my reserve is so low um, if they don't. I mean, what they sell for is what they sell for. And I could <laughs> I could really end up uh, in a bad situation, but it is what it is. Woo! Wow. Hey there, Betsy. Whoo, you stink. Golly. This... <laughs> I'm going to get carbon monoxide poison sitting here. Let's roll this outside. Let's get this, uh, whoo, my goodness, uh, this is bad, <laughs> like, this is bad, you know what else is bad, this car's got no mirrors, none, not even a rear view mirror, guys, so you can't see anything out of this car, there we go, okay, yeah, yeah, squeak, squeak, she hasn't been outdoors in a while, guys, uh, I do love this old car, man. I really do. She hasn't been outside in a while. I think she's warmed up now. I'm going to take the keys into this one as well. <sighs> yeah, I think today is a good day to break out this beautiful car. Ugh. Oh, my headlights are on still. I better shut those off. Look at this car, man. This one is not for sale either. I thought about it. I did. I, I actually was ready to send it off for sale and uh my fiance said no she <laughs> i think this is the only car that she has ever told me i cannot sell seriously seriously yeah uh got the auto auction rebuilds license plate right there yep all right guys it's been fun it's been real 
and it's time to get up out of here. Do me a big favor, if you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button, I truly appreciate it. Go over to IAA's website, links again down below, and bid on a car for yourself, man. I truly appreciate that as well. It's gonna go a long way to help me with uh, some huge, huge things going on around here. Uh, that, that's all I can tell you. Big, really big huge thing. Some of you are going to get it, I think. I think some of you are going to get what I'm talking about. Some of you are not going to get it, but I appreciate each and one of you for taking time to watch the video. Drop those comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Till next time, stay safe out there, buddy. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.